pretty simple pirate boat boat slash ship so um yeah we've got a ton of things to do in this part four sorry it, it took so long like i said life things i'm just so busy nowadays for example i have four uh school projects that are due this tuesday um, but now I have quite a bit of free time since I don't have school on Monday. So hopefully I'll be churning out the videos for you guys um, this week. I've got a, another Project Minecraft for fans. Uh, well, not fans because you guys aren't my fans. You're my viewers. Viewer submissions um, for Project Minecraft things you've been building. But like I said, we've got a ton of things to build in this episode. It's going to be nice and long, but it's just more detailing work because now we have the raw shape and most of the designs. We just got to finish it up. Okay, so um, I was debating earlier, and I think we're going to start with the um, crow's nest. So as you can see here, it's not that hard. It's just a 3x3 three three design with a hole cut in the middle for the... Um, for the the ladder and then it's a half slab so you can look over it because if it's just one hole then you won't be able to see much at all so let's go build that over here um i got there we go just gonna build around it like this and now we gotta get out some fences i think we have some yep and nope you can't make slabs in a two by two crafting area all right just like this same thing on the other side put it down like this and it's that simple now we just lay it down on the fences Okay, let's go craft some slabs. Okay, three across, that simple. And there we go. Let's fly up. One and two. Okay, it should be mentioned also that the ladder um, it will not work if you just go to the top because that half slab is there. You will have to um, jump up if you get stuck on it. But it should just automatically slide you up when you slide up. So, yeah. Okay, so that wasn't too hard. So now we have our crow's nest. Don't worry, we'll add the torches in just a little bit. Um, second, I think we're going to work on the uh, battlements area. So we're going to craft some levers and we're also going to craft um, some stairs. Actually, we're going to make a lot of stairs. And this will create the better, more defined look of a pirate boats or um, kind of just like siding, railing, so to speak. Because the blocks don't really translate well. We just pull it, put those in during part one for... Oh, we already had some slabs. Oh, well. Um, just to... Uh, use as a rough uh, guide so let's put some of this reorganize and we need what was it lots of stairs okay. okay awesome now we gotta get more oh wait did I get any please tell me I got some where is it Okay, there we go. We shouldn't need this many, but oh well. Alright, so I think we're just going to run through and just totally destroy all these. Just like this. And hey, if you're new to the Project Minecraft series, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, be sure to check out some of the other videos um, in the this, this series of building some very simple, basic designs you can use. Um, if you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments hey. below. I don't want anybody to get lost in the design. I want it to be as clear as possible. Um, I try my best to check them, but like I said, I'm very busy, so yeah. Trying my best. I hate when that happens. Okay, cool. Now, um, other side. I almost forgot about it there. 
just like that and we'll move on to that in a second um, I'm gonna teach you guys now how to place down the stairs that lead up to the top you just place um, two out from the two we extended earlier then we place uh, two here then we need two blocks here oops see how terrible I am with placing blocks I swear I can never get it right and you don't have to put it on both sides I just prefer it that way so there we go and I think this one it might it may be replaced with uh, no it's just a stair as well okay my mouse sensitivity lately has been really wonky and then we just put it on the other side like this same thing and bada bing bada boom no <laughs> ah, this is one of the great uh, you know I don't even know what I was gonna say uh, we've wasted so much time I wonder how much accumulated time there's been uh, just of trying to put the stairs down or any sort of block down okay uh, let me double check here Okay, we got that. Okay, now we put slabs there and a blockage center. Alright, so did I put all of those back? Yeah, I did. Okay, so um, just moving on to the top. We're kind of, like I said, just going all over the place, filling in the designs. If you have to rewatch it, be sure to rewatch it if you need to. Oh, wrong one. And this one never got filled in for some reason. Up. Oh my. Well, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if I'm just, I pretty much just stink at Minecraft, don't I? Don't answer that. All right. Finally, I placed the blocks right. And then we stick a stair on top, I believe. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Now we stick a, um... Hmm. Wait a second. Um. All right. Now I just got confused with my own design. Uh, um. What did I just do? Okay. The, what I'm getting confused is there's two there, in between there and. There's over here, it's only. Is that one or two? Ugh, I get so confused sometimes. Get rid of this one that we put down earlier. And get out these, and this will act as the. What do they call that? A, it's not called a steering wheel. I, I don't really brush up on my pirate terminology, though, or ship terminology. I know, like, there's, like, the port starboard and stuff like that, but I don't even know which ones are which. All right, anyway, point being, we've got that all set up now, which is pretty cool. Now we got to move on to the front. Now the front confused me earlier because it's, it's kind of, like I said, I didn't really study this design as easily or as clearly as I did my original castle. Um, but let's see if we, I can figure this out. Okay, just one on each side. Skip one, two. All right, I think I got this. Um, all right, what we're gonna do is remove this from the previous two videos, this triangle shape, and add in a stair here. Then we're going to keep that block over here. Ah, you get so turned around. Keep this one here and put it there. Then I think we take out this one as well. And we can we keep this as a full block. No, yes. Hold up. You know what? I'm just going to take out all this. And because I'm figuring we don't need it. And it's getting really dark. Um, okay, I'm going to be back, guys. Um, and we'll come back in just a second after I 
go to sleep in Minecraft, and then I'll fix it, and then we'll, yeah. Anyway, uh, see you in a little bit. Alright, guys, I'm back, so we're here, and I figured, um, ignore that part right there, we're just going to, um, start from here. So I've cleared out a anything except for the edges, and we're going to fill in a stair here, and here. As you can see, it's very narrow at this part right here. And then we're going to take out the actual edges now for this one right here. So, where's my axe? There we go. I think this is the only, it may be the only spot on the ship where one of the edges is an actual staircase. Okay. So, now that we've got that one, we just keep it going. So, then we'll fill another one in here. There. And... We gotta remove this one. So, uh, as you as from the previous one, we gotta take out this, 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 this. Then replace this one with a stair, this one with a stair, and that one with a stair. And there we go. Now it's fully fleshed out and looks a lot better. Okay. So now that we have that, let's make a whole bunch of switches. So we need some sticks and some cobble. I don't have any cobble. So I gotta go back to the storage crates and find some. I've been noticing a lot of lighting problems though, especially on this one chest over here. Um, it was like completely black and then the stuff surrounding it was too. All right. And the, th the thing about um, 1.8 now is that I would switch over to creative mode, but this world was created before 1.8, and I don't want to import everything into, like, a creative uh, file or anything um, into a new world, or it just be too annoying to do. So I'm just going to keep it, and then we'll have to deal with the thing later. And it's on peaceful, so it works. All right, now there's a specific number of actual levers we should have um, according to the canon. So that's, what, 18? But I'll just keep them in bulk. Whoa, 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 what was that? Did I? Oh, yeah, I, I did that. I, um, people have told me about this new sprint thing, which is really trippy. Along with if you go to your options and you do this, this is really weird. <laughs> Anyway, it'll be interesting for, like, machinima shots of things, but anyway, that's not the point. I'm getting sidetracked. Let's go back to normal Minecraft mode. All right. So now we're just going to lay down the levers in front of the cannons, and this is just act like the firing mechanism. I don't actually use these cannons at all, or I don't even know if you would either, but if you want to, they're just there for decoration mostly, so... Yeah. All right. So that's cool, fine, and dandy. Let's go up top to the uh, steering wheel thingy-majigger. Honestly, I have no idea what to call it. Put the lever on the front. Uh, uh, not the front. The left, right, and top. And I stunk again. There we go. Okay. Cool. Now we got that. Come back down and take out our axe. So now we're going to start carving out the fl uh, glass part of the underground. What is that called? Uh, I have no idea. Um, so we're going to start with the big mast right here. And we're just going to uh, keep on taking it out until we come to one away from the second one. And this should hopefully put in a lot more light. That's the main reason for it is a ton of light. Because right now I think it's only being lit up by torches. Because if not, and you didn't have on, on Peaceful, then it would have looked really weird. Okay. Oops. Oh. There we go. Now let's go get some glass out, unless we already have it. Yep, we already have it going to fill this in except for um, one slot which is where the ladder will go Oops. Oops. 
Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now that we have that. Oh, I almost forgot. Take out that. Okay. Just like that. And, uh, you know what? Before we move on to the bottom, I say we wrap up the top. So I think we'll put in the torches and the captain's quarters um, before we move on to the bottom, and the bottom will be the last thing. Now it's really starting to come together. Okay, uh, torches. Do I have that many? I think you'll need about a stack's worth. Uh, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. You go every other... Oh, this is just suggestions, right? For the torches, there's no actual right way to put the torches on, I would say. Um, because it may be a little overzealous, but that's okay. So we do it every other for the cannons. So move around. Put on the other side. Let's hope I don't misplace something. I'll probably jinx myself just by saying that. Right? We got that there. Now let's move on. And you'll see that I just laid some torches on the floor. I don't really know if those are necessary. But I put them down anyway just to light it up in case. By the way, I really like the new lighting uh, textures. Um, they look pretty cool how it's got the red flame. I think that was a good addition to Minecraft. Alright. We're going to play, uh, lay it down in a triangle form, but only facing towards the front of the ship. Next, let's move up and up top. Do the same thing. this um are there any others up here oh i forgot to do the top of the railing here too okay we'll have to come back to that uh let's finish the torches we need one on the front okay like this uh one on the front there and one on the side so we stick it here and here, as well as one right here. And that one looks a little ridiculous right there, so you can take that off if you want. Uh, this one right here is mainly just so it can light up the water and keep the mobs off from sp uh, the mobs away from spawning um, towards the front or like underneath where a large shadow might cast. Okay, so now let's go towards the uh, entrance to the captain's quarters. Place one here and here. And I think that's all about all the torches for this part. I think we just got to slide up to the mass and the crow's nest and put them there. So one up here. And then you place it in the middle for these um, crow's nests. Like this. Slide down. Now, I'm not sure where I put them in the middle of the mast. They kind of look weird, I guess. Um, I'm going to change it right now, and I'm going to put them here. Um, in the Somewhat towards the middle. They kind of align with the top part of where the sail indents, but we're just going to go with that for now. Okay. And that's all the torches. Now, I realized just a second ago that I messed up with the uh, railing. So, let's fix this. Take out your axe. Chop off these two. Replace them with stairs, of course. Okay. Okay, got that. Oops, hit the... Wrong key there. Okay, place one there. Remove the other one. So take out your axe again. Take out this one. And this one. Lay down two. See how the boat is getting lit up? Now we can actually film um, in the dark if we have to. Okay, so now we got the two there. Uh, indent, uh, I mean, just curve in by one block now so we got to take out these two 
than these two. And let's place one torch. Are there any torches on the back? Um, let's put some torches on the back. So one here, one here, and the last one uh, for the top will go there. We'll need some underneath the boat and in the captain's quarters, so I'll just have to give myself some in a little bit. And feel free to change it to whatever you feel is necessary. Like I said, this was built back in February, the original one, which is an import, which is this model. Um, so it's not perfect, of course, so change it as you feel necessary. Okay, so I think that's about it for now. Yep, things are really starting to come together. We're just about done. So now let's move on to the inside of the captain's quarters. Um, now this is also a thing you can change a lot. Um, uh, let me just explain to you what I put in here. Uh, this is a desk right here and a chair behind it. Of course, you can't sit on it or anything. Then we've got a lot of bookshelves here and some flowers, which don't really akin to flower or uh, pirates that much. Um, so let's go copy that down. And it may just be raw blo blocks under or er, in here. Um, so I think we got to take these out. And yes, okay. So chair goes here. Raw ones go there. Then we put in the bookshelves here. Do I have any? I don't think I have any. So we'll have to add in those later. Um, don't have any pressure plates either, I think. Um, let's go craft some things real fast. Okay, uh, let's put in all this wool. We don't need it right now. As we finish the sails, let's put in, make a few signs. Oh, that's how you make trap doors. Interesting. Um, I never really built those before. And I'm out of sticks. Crap. There we go. All right, now we got the signs. These will just be used blank and put on the side to act as armrests. This has been used a lot before. Um, and let's just use wooden pressure plates uh, to save some time here. Instead of the stone ones that I used in the other original one. And they look fine just the way they are. Okay. Come on. I'm so used to using the uh, mouse wheel because I've been use playing so much Team Fortress 2 lately. Uh, nobody will see that block under there with the bookshelves. So then two bookshelves will go here, two bookshelves will go here, and whatever you want will go here. If you want to leave it open, you can leave it open. You know, whatever you want to do. And so let's place a door. And we don't have any. No, we gotta craft one. Okay. Okay. It's good. All right. Okay. Let me just double check because I don't want to forget anything. Um, it looks like we pretty much completed the entire top of the, uh, boat, what you see from the outside mostly. So now I guess I'm going to uh, sleep in Minecraft, then we'll come back and we'll finish the inside and that'll wrap up part four guys and you should have your boat completely fin finished. Then in part five, we'll go over how to extend the boat and stuff like that. Okay, um, I'll be back, guys, in just a second. All right, we're back. Okay, so let's get started on the inside of the um, storage. I have no idea what to call a room. 
Uh, it shouldn't honestly be that hard to do. And I was just thinking about it that we should probably replace this block under here and this block under here since they are the block or no this one since they are the blocks directly underneath the um boat they should probably run down through it as well so let me put in these and that way also we use up those blocks okay so now that we've put down those let's get out some ladders just put them on here and you um oh i'm stuck on flying okay and it's intentionally only two um blocks high i know it may feel claustrophobic but that's the point sorry um put these like this and um, right now we're going to run over to the other boat and I'm going to show you what the whole point of it was. Okay, so we're here and you'll notice that there's this weird dip in the floor. In my original world where I built this, um, the water actually is right below this. So um, you would see them like forming at the top basically. Um, so that, the point was that was to fish and not, you know, be attacked or whatever, because you could do that. Um, but right now the glowstone is there, mainly because we don't want the water to freeze because it's a winter biome. Um, but that's the point of it right there. So we're going to fill in these slab filling things right here, put in the chest, those would have fishing supplies, and then there's like a little workstation over here in this part right there. And then of course there are more switches for more uh, cannons. Okay, so let's put the wrong button again. Now we're here. Alright, so let's get started and take out, starting with this, all this. And that, I think, was too far, so let's fill in this. And then we gotta get out some slabs. And the chests, and also the levers. So now, taking our slabs, let's fill in this. And there's only a two block opening right here and the chest act well one of the chests actually goes here and then we need one two from the other side and you can keep that a slab if you want or if you don't want to that's fine as well um and that should be it now let's get out our um levers i think it looks a little bit different in the original but we can always double check in a little bit Okay, placed on those. Placed on that. For our little work area over here, we take a chest, put it here, 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 and there. And you can put general supplies in there. Craft a workbench. That goes in the center, and then two furnaces go on the side. And once again, you can change it however you want. Whoops. There we go. And I think one torch is missing, so let's replace it. And I think we just randomly put in the torches the first time, so we can look and check how it's supposed to go. And it's going to get pretty dark down here. Hopefully we'll get it done by the time that it's not nighttime. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta change that one right there. This is left empty. The torches go on the sides there and across. Okay, there's none in between them. Alright. Let's go back. Okay, 
take out this one. Place it with the normal one. Well, technically we could have just put in two slabs down. It doesn't really matter. Oh, and then we have to take out these as well. And once again, that may be wrong because I have short-term memory loss. Um. Okay. Oh, that's weird. I can't place it down for some reason. Maybe you can't stack slabs. That's weird. Um. Let's just put down a normal one. Okay. One here here and you'll probably want to put down more lighting anyway so and it looks like we're almost done uh let me just double check this part because it does not look right at all um i know i just want to make sure my designs are intact with what i originally built because don't want to stray too far from the design. It wants to. It needs to be an exact replica, basically. Nope, three over there and one there. All right, that's the entire underground or not underground. Uh, under, what is it called? I don't know. Make up your own name for it. All right, let's stop by here and put in the bookshelves. And let's place one there. We'll just fill it all with books. And it is kind of claustrophobic in here, too, but you can change it to however you want. Alright, um, let's take a look back. And I did that again. And we have just built an exact replica of the original model. Congratulations, you have now built the entire simple pirate boat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh... And I hope you enjoyed this nice and long episode for you guys to build over the weekend. And I i don't have school on Monday. Um, maybe you, depending on where you are, maybe you don't either. So you could spend time building then. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching as always. Uh, part 5 will hopefully come out either Sunday, which is tomorrow for me because I'm recording this on Saturday. Um, either that or it'll come out next weekend and we'll discuss on how to make it larger. Because this is a very small to medium sized boat and it needs to be bigger if you want um a better design or if it doesn't really fit the size you were going for okay well thanks as always for watching guys um all the support that's been going on uh i, I can't keep it up with all of it but i try my best um so i cannot stress how many times i can say thank you um but hopefully i will see you all in the next video bye